Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. What's up? Hey. What's up? Hey. Hey. What's up? Hey, you know, I found this article. Yeah. I don't know if you saw it on Facebook, but there's an article on cringeworthy 1950s dating advice <laughs> on how to get a husband. I'm and not looking for one. You sure? Because, I mean, we've been dating a long time. <laughs> if this relationship isn't going somewhere, I'm sorry. I'm French. out. This is it. <laughs> this yeah. is it? Great. Uh, well, some might say these are sexist. Some might say these are politically incorrect. Oh, this plays right into my wheelhouse. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying, I think these are great, and they're next. So, an article... From 1958, <laughs> advising women on how to attract a partner has surfaced on the internet, triggering a frenzy across social media, Ron. Everything causes a frenzy on social media. <laughs> Seems like it with, yeah. with some people anyway. Titled 129 Ways to Get a Husband, the feature in American magazine McCall's included a varied body of tips ranging from bizarre and desperate to downright sexist and politically incorrect. There we go. One of the more outrageous instructions told women to be flexible about their partner's potential decisions. <laughs> if he decides to skip the dance and go rowing on the lake, Ooh. which we do all the time. Uh, yes. Rowing. I mean, if I'm not rowing, I'm doing something else yeah uh go the advice is go even if you're wearing your best evening gown uh this post which has been shared thirteen thousand <laughs> seven hundred and fifty times uh has caused widespread controversy on sp facebook quickly racking up more than 4600 likes and thousands of comments from shocked and amused users all right so in a section headed, how to let him know you're there. Advice involved investing in material items to enhance your desirability. For instance, buy a convertible. Oh, yeah. Men like to ride in them. Wow. That's That was what number 43 said. <laughs> See, this is good advice. Buy a convertible. Stumble when you walk into a room. Wear a Band-Aid. People will always ask what happened. Wow. One woman said her personal favorite was number 40. 40's good, huh? That's We good. like 40. It's a good <laughs> one. Which instructed single girls to, this is great, stand in a corner and cry <laughs> softly. Cry softly uh, in the hopes of a man asking, what's wrong, dear? I would never, ever approach a woman that was crying. <laughs> no. Sorry. Now, this one... This one would probably work. Okay. Number 35 well, that's says a, good one. a straightforward tactic, make a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Paris Hilton, she's pretty attractive <laughs> to me. <laughs> so in the how to look good department, the magazine suggested ways to enhance your appearance. Get better looking glasses. Yeah, them black horn rim ones aren't doing it. Men still make passes at girls who wear glasses or try contact lenses. That's number 49. Which is my favorite number. Take a note. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next, wear high heels. They're even sexier. They're uncomfortable to me. Though. Well, unless he happens to be shorter than you. Oh, then you don't want to Which do Vicky always is concerned about. Mm -hmm. I could care less. Going on a diet if you need to. Dressing differently from other girls and never whining were other recommendations for the singletons. <laughs> it's singletons. <laughs> it's it's kind of like a simpleton, but it's a singleton. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, if you struggle to find an eligible bachelor, perhaps you should uh, try buying a dog. See, that is something I would instantly be attracted to. Mm -hmm. uh, walking around the park or purposely having your car break down at strategic locations. Oh, that yeah, that's strategic. You're like, yeah, oh, outside gosh. Gold Club Center. <laughs> I hope my radiator hose <laughs> blows right now. <laughs> outside of Home Depot. Well. Uh, <laughs> other advice included looking, what? 
looking in the census reports for places with the most single men. I think that's Alaska. I think that's true. Uh, it, is. it definitely is. Uh, reading obituaries <laughs> to locate desirable widowers. Hmm. Becoming a nurse or an airline stewardess. Flight attendant. Stewardess. A flight attendant now. And stewardess and working inside a medical, dental, or law school to be in close proximity to educated, wealthy males. Wow. <laughs> Come Dang. on, ladies. Take a note. They have gone the extra mile on this thing. Uh, next one, to seal the deal, the magazine provided guidance under the headline, How to Land Him. Yeah, girls, you need this. Yeah, you tips chicks. range from talking to your date's father about business to researching his previous girlfriends to avoid repeating the same mistakes Nowadays, that they made. we call that stalking. Yes. Okay? Yeah, that technically. If all else fails, the magazine offered a section captioned, Anything Goes, which shared tricks such as offering to fix a man's flat tire and riding the airport bus back and forth until you found an attractive prospect. So there's a list of where to find him. Uh, attend night school. Oh, yeah. Take courses men like. Join a hiking club. What is this hiking thing all about? <laughs> That's just walking. <laughs> it is walking. It's, but you're usually, and you're you're going to end up in the same place you started. Yeah. So point A and your ending point, point A are the same. Yeah. Yeah. Take a bicycle trip through Europe. Ooh. Um, yeah, but then you're going to meet European men. Ask your friend's husbands who the eligible men are in their offices. See, women, you you gotta you gotta do these things to get a man, and you know what? You need a man. Well, yeah, yeah. Women can't make it on their own. No, hell no. no. They they're, they're gotta have big. a big burly man. Yeah, lots of muscles. Yeah. yeah well, I, you know what? I do think because we actually have a friend who I'm I'm picking up what she's laying down, and she's a little she's thirty. I think she just turned thirty. She wants to get married badly. Mm. You mean she uh, wants to get in a bad marriage? I think she would take a bad marriage <laughs> over no marriage. I think she wants kids, and yeah, if the, you know, if the guy's just around for that for a couple years, yeah, so be it. Yeah, so be it. So, but yeah, you got to ask around. You know, I was I always tell people, hey, what are you interested? In? Do you like to golf? Spend a lot of time on a golf course. You'll meet a guy who likes to golf. Here's my advice: find out what it is that you like, that you like to do. Let's just say it's maybe antiquing, okay? They could do that. Yep. Because the people that you're going to meet while doing the things that you enjoy will then share some sort of commonality with you. Yep. And at least that could be an icebreaker and opening to a conversation. And my wife and I love cars. Mm -hmm. We go to car shows. Uh, we go to Hot August Nights up in Reno, thousands and thousands of cars. We have, and we can walk around uh, for four days, ten hours a day, and you've done it, looking at cars, and we're in heaven. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, really, do find something you're passionate about. If it's like crafting, you might have to find a, a you know, a, an idea or a, a hobby that kind of crosses over a little bit more than crafting and scrapbooking. Yeah, you're just not going to find a lot of guys doing that. No, just saying. I was thinking after reading, reading this article and driving over to your house today, I was, <laughs> I was thinking to myself, you've got people who enjoy things like um, horseshoes. Yes. All right. Well, women don't really like horseshoes, but see, if you go to a horseshoe tournament, you're going to be surrounded by men. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the kind of thing that I I really recommend is find what you like. Yep. Do that, and you'll you know um, you'll you'll meet more people that way. That'll yep. be interesting to you. Uh, some of People questioned the legitimacy of this story while others joked that they had been doing it wrong for years. Thank God for the women's movement, one <laughs> user said. Wow, finding a man is not for the faint of heart, another wrote. That is true. That stands up today. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Well, well it's been a long time since we've dated. Not each other. Yeah. No. Yeah. We, we didn't date, did we? Not much. We were just, we were friends. 
No benefits. No benefits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that'll bring us to the conclusion of another exciting episode of Men Are So Smart. This story, oh my God, I can't believe how far we've come, my friends, <laughs> from the 1950s. The 1958, you know what? That article is older than me, but not him. Yes, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. But you know what? Some of these, well, I mean, like you said, some of them were a little bit sexist. Some of them are a little bit on point. <laughs> so Yeah, to be sure. All right, well, look, uh, if you found this offensive... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We've done our job. <laughs> we can quit for the day. Uh, leave your comments below, and we will deal with them. <laughs> yeah, appropriately. Yeah. <laughs> and not a moment sooner. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you'd like any more information on us, you'll find it below in the description. Um, you can subscribe to our channel. Just click that button that says subscribe. It means a great deal to us. While you're at it, click the bell too, because then you'll get notifications when each new show comes out. Yeah. All right. And they're coming out often. They are. Uh, my email address. There it is. Mine. Ronnie's. There, there. it is. Okay. <laughs> Good job, Ronnie. Thank you. I even spelled it right. Look. <laughs> I should spell it with a Y, and then you'd never get any email. Wouldn't be the first time it's Ronnie, happened. Ronnie, yeah, with yeah. a Y, I, or a heart over the I. Yes. Oh, well, my my girl cousin, she used to do that on purpose, R-O-N-N-I. Ooh. Yeah. Shirley. Ooh, yada. Yada. All right, I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. See you next time. I'm Men Are So Smart. Bye-bye.